Ryan and I were lucky enough to go to the cellular and ballot factory in the Czech Republic this past fall, had the privilege to shoot a number of the extremely rare and interesting full auto guns in their extensive collection with our buddy Miroslav, a firearms expert and an armorer for S&B. I noticed that S&B had a full auto copy of the CZ-75, an incredibly uncommon machine pistol. I had to shoot it, obviously. The idea of making a fully automatic CZ-75 didn't occur until 16 years after the gun was invented in 1991. CZ had no 9mm submachine guns in its catalog at the time, so it seemed to make logical sense. Let's make the CZ-75 full auto, and we'll use that to break into foreign sales to the global law enforcement market. Unfortunately, as we all know, the Hughes Amendment ended private sales of new machine guns after 1986, so the full auto CZ-75 that came out in 1991, not going to find it in collector's hands. There are only two CZ-75 full autos in the Czech Republic, one at CZ's factory and one at Cellular and Bellet, the famous Czech ammunition manufacturer. We pit one of these rare CZ-75 machine pistols against the notorious Glock 18 full auto in this episode of TFB TV. The CZ-75 was one of the first reliable double-stack 9mm, now commonly called the Wonder 9s, and in 1975 was arguably the best at that time because its only competition really was the old-ass bitch high power, although the legendary Beretta 92 and the Sig P226, both double-stack 9 autos, both right around the corner. The CZ-75 is unusual in that its slide rides inside of its frame rails rather than outside like most pistols, like a regular CZ-75. The automatic version, extremely reliable. The CZ-75 Auto's rate of fire is about 1,000 rounds per minute, which is actually 10% slower than the Glock 18. The Glock is actually smaller and lighter than the CZ-75 Auto, but it operates like a hummingbird on meth with a cyclical rate of 1,100 rounds per minute. The CZ-75 Auto has some modifications from the standard version, including a ported barrel that's one inch longer than the standard barrel to reduce recoil. It uses a very simple auto sear controlled by a select fire switch on the left-hand side of the pistol to switch between safe, semi-auto, and full auto. The frame used like a precursor, a Picatinny rail, under its 5.8 inch barrel using a cut forward of the trigger guard. The bottom of the magazine has grooves and a spring-loaded catch. That'll dovetail into the rail in front of the trigger guard, ingeniously becoming both an additional source of ammunition and a foregrip to control the CZ during fully automatic fire. The Glock 18, on the other hand, a select fire version of the Glock 17. The Glock 17, the original flagship pistol manufactured by perhaps my most favorite manufacturer on earth, Glock. In the 1980s, Gaston Glock, a man who was at the time making polymer consumer goods like I think curtain rods and toilet seats or something with his three employees, decided one day I'm going to build the greatest pistol the world has ever seen. The Austrian military announced a competition to adopt a new sidearm. Mr. Glock took an innovative approach to the design. Gaston Glock was the first to popularize the use of injection molded polymer to make a pistol's frame. At the time, this was a wild ass idea, so much so that us old guys remember when people really unironically believed that you could walk a Glock through an airport metal detector. Moreover, Mr. Glock designed the Glock 17 to have just 33 parts, making it both sophisticated and simple. In spite of the Glock 17 being in this, its fifth generation, it remains at its core the same uncomplicated design that gives the Glock 17 the original its unbeatable reliability. Even though he had never previously designed a pistol, Mr. Glock's design scored more points in the Austrian military's testing than any other design, and he won the contract. The rest is history. Between 82 and 84, he shipped over 25,000 Gen 1 Glock 17s to the Austrian Armed Forces. But by 2020, 
Glock has sold 20 million pistols. Certainly the vast, vast majority of them still being in existence, functioning as they did when they rolled off the line. The Glock 18 came about circa 1986 at the request of law enforcement agencies, a critical requirement being that it fit in standard holsters. The standard Glock 18, unlike the CZ75 Full Auto, is basically the exact same in every way to its semi-auto variant, the Glock 17, minus the ability to use a slide-mounted selector to go from semi-auto to fully tweaked out on Crackomatic. Eventually, the Glock 18C or compensated model was introduced, and having time behind the standard Glock 18 and the 18C, I can tell you for certain that the C is easier to control. Unfortunately for this test, we had only the standard Glock 18 non-compensated model against the heavier and compensated CZ75 full auto. Obviously, I am, always have been a huge Glock fanboy, which is why it was my honor to shoot the Glock 18C at Glock's headquarters in Smyrna with fabled Glock master Chris Edwards, who's affectionately known as the Gen 1 Glock instructor. Chris taught me how to control the Glock 18C, which is, as it turns out, next to impossible. The Glock 18 is a lightweight 22 ounces, moving at 1,100 rounds per minute versus the heavier and slower 40 ounce CZ75 automatic with the compensator shooting at 1,000 RPM, a little bit slower. With the lighter and faster firing Glock having no compensator whatsoever, the Glock was at a disadvantage in this test and on top of the weight and the cyclical rate differences, you can imagine how this battle between the CZ75 full auto and the Glock 18 went. We took myself, Ryan, some of the guys from S&B to their training facility in the Czech Republic. Enough talking, on to the competition. Good afternoon. We are on a ballistic laboratory of company of Cellier and Belt. Uh, we are producers of ammunition, uh, both civil and both military civil, uh, ammunition. Here we have the CZ75 in a full auto, also Glock 18 in full auto. For me, uh, I would not take any of them because it's really hard to aim and uh, hit the target. There is bigger probability that you will hit anything around the target. <laughs> so with both of this and this, uh, if, the, if those were the semi-auto uh, versions, uh, I would always pick this one. Okay. For me, it's uh, more comfortable. I don't know why. For me, it's really better. I can hit uh, more points with it than with this. Oh, damn it. It's plastic. <laughs> yeah, sure, I understand that. But full auto, which one's better? In full auto, I think this one is better. And I can tell you why. You know, you can uh, grip a magazine here uh, as a grip. So you can have more counter. So what we're gonna do for purposes of fairness, because we're doing a versus here, mm -hmm. we're going to eliminate the magazine. We don't wanna have yeah. a VFG for either gun, because I mean, this has a Picatinny rail. You could put a VFG on here yeah, 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 if absolutely. you wanted to. Cooler with a magazine, of course. But uh, we're going to shoot them both, just two hands on the grip. Which one do you think is going to shoot better in that way? By my opinion, uh, this one, because it has the muzzle brake, mm -hmm. and it is probable that uh, it won't kick so high. I see. All right, well, do you have any advice for us before we go shoot these? Hold it firmly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, guys, let's do it. The CZ75 full auto versus the Glock 18. A couple of ground rules. We're shooting from six yards back. We're going to do three trigger presses, so no shooter sends an entire magazine like up into this beautiful S&B billboard. Then we're going to go count the score. We're going to shoot both back to back, and then we're going to decide which one the winner is. Glock 18 first. So that's a bunch of headshots. I mean, does that count? That would be my first shot, and then everything else, you know, would go flying. But these are all a bunch of inadvertent headshots. So that's actually terrible. Um, and just about what I predicted because the cyclical rate on this gun is so effing high. Let's see if the CZ75 is any different. Looks like Miroslav was right. All right, you can see 15 rounds much better target than the Glock 18. All good hits, all in the torso. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say for me personally, 
the CZ75 wins. I mean, I wanted Glock to come in here and do this. I wanted him to win, but here we are. You know, I mean, it, the problem is we're, we're at the home field. We're at the Czech home field. So, Glock 18 target. All right, one, two, three, four. And CZ75? It's really, it's really hard. I think I have more in the A zone with the Glock. You've got a lot of experience with a Glock 18. Yeah, You're so, unusual in that respect. Yeah, so this gun can be taught to be much more effective. You I'm, used to be an instructor. Yeah, I'm well out of practice. I haven't shot this in 15 years. But that's really impressive still. Well, it, it, it can be done. And now over here with the CZ75, two, four, six, eight. Which target do you feel better about, honestly? Just cold, the CZ75, because of the weight, I think. Yeah, of course the Czech guy shoots the, the Czech gun the best. That's clean. I mean, these are all good hits. That's good. And this is still pretty good. That is pretty damn good. Are you happy with that? I am. Glock 18? Not happy with that. <laughs> So you shot both about equally. If anything, I think maybe the 18 a little bit better, huh? Yeah, definitely. Uh, what do you think about the, the difference between the two, and which one did you like better? Honestly, I like better the Glock 18. For me, it was it was for the first time when I shot both of these, and the Glock 18 was definitely better for me. That was the first time yeah, for, for both the of these time. guns? Yeah. That's amazing, because this is actually really, way better than, than how I shot, and I've shot a Glock 18 a whole bunch, so. <laughs> So after everyone shot, we tallied up the score and the winner was. Exactly half the shooters said that they liked the Glock 18 better than the CZ75 full auto, and half said they liked the CZ more than the Glock. Proof is in the paper. I'm gonna count the A-zone hits, and only down here, nothing in the brain box, because this is where everyone was aiming, and we were asking everyone to keep it in this area. So these are the CZ targets, one. Two, three, four, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. Glock 18, score to beat 65. One, two, three, four, five, 47, 48. So actually, it really wasn't even close. Um, 48 to 65 A zone hits when you're talking about the CZ75 versus the Glock 18. Now, to be fair, uh, the CZ75 is heavier and had a compensator. The Glock 18 was not a compensated model, so would we have different results if we used a Glock 18C? I guess we're just gonna have to come back to Cellular and Bellet, use their ballistic testing range again, and find out someday. No surprise the CZ75 had more A-zone hits than the Glock 18. Between the break and the additional weight, the CZ was just easier to shoot. Obviously, as I alluded to earlier, this would have been a much more fair matchup had we used the compensated 18C, which is more controllable than the standard version. But the good news is we can always revisit this test later because we used standardized USPSA cardboard torso targets. Next time I'm lucky enough to get my hands on an 18C, we can just get another USPSA cardboard torso target, let it rip, see what happens. But all things being equal, the CZ75 is still twice as heavy as the Glock 18. It's still a slower cyclical rate, meaning it's likely that it's still going to shoot a little bit more accurately. The CZ75 may be one of the best machine pistols ever devised, although we've got some really, really neat ones from S&B that you may not have even heard of coming up on TFB TV, so please make sure you subscribe. If you like this program, please support us. You don't see us shilling out BS to you guys, and we don't take money in exchange for positive reviews. Most importantly, if you like that, consider supporting us on Patreon, or you can support us on Utreon or Subscribestar, and if you support us on one of those, you'll be automatically entered to win one of four free guns 
every single month from Top Gun Supply, your online shooting superstore. And by the way, if you need to get some SMB ammo for your guns, for your Glock 18, or maybe just the switch that you have, make sure to check out Ventura Munitions. But thanks for checking out TFB TV. Take care.